The background and display dialog box can be found at the left hand end of the color palette or under the design menu. Here you can set up your background preferences for your work area. You can choose a solid color or a fabric from the inbuilt library and color it to suit. Or indeed, add a custom fabric. Simply save an image of your fabric to a folder and navigate to it and select. If you use the auto hoop feature, you can add color inside the hoop. These settings may change from one job to another. The display settings are more likely to be saved to your normal template for everyday use. Choose a bright but not often used colour to identify selected and unsewn objects. I also recommend changing the colour of the guidelines to a bright colour that will contrast to your background. You'll see the advantage of this in a moment. You will need to turn True View off and display stitches only. As an object is selected, it changes to your color selection. And returning to the beginning of the design so nothing is stitched and moving through with the help of the travel toolbar will again change the color, giving you a clear indication of where you are in the design. Notice as the cursor moves through the design, the status bar indicates the number of the stitch where the cursor is located. I prefer to use a light coloured background and that is the reason I changed the guidelines to a bright blue, so they will stand out. Please look for the video on templates to find out how to save these settings to your templates.